Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nock. Welcome along to a brand new video. Today we're going to play Old and Wild by Wild Drew. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. But without further ado, let's read the description. This is another easy chamber. Make your way to the exit. Can you take the companion cube to the exit? Have fun. Please leave feedback, even if you don't like it. It's nice to know what you think or don't like about the chamber. Please let me know any bugs, glitches, trapments, or breakments in the level. Thank you, Wild Drew. P.S. Whatever you do, do not read the change notes. You won't like them. Is that because there is none? Or what? Maybe we'll read them after we've played. Just to, uh, you've, you've raised my curiosity now, Wild Drew. How dare you do such a thing. All right, and we're playing in a destroyed aperture uh, environment. Not in the mod, of because course. This message is pre recorded. The enrichment center has no way of knowing if whatever government remains offers any sort of cattle, tuberculosis, <laughs> testing credit, or taxes. In the all event right. that it does, first of all, test involves exposure to cattle, tuberculosis. Good luck. First of all, I would say that's really unnecessary just to turn the, the funnel on. All right, so I'm going to want X. All right, speeds up. Take the cube. That's for some sort of flinger magic. Maybe the flinger magic is what we need to do next. Maybe. We don't do a fling really, we're gonna just use the funnel, right? It was really hard to see that fizzler hand turned off there for some reason. open yet. Fair enough. Again, it's just... It just seems a pretty pointless thing to be doing. That, that button there. Buttons that literally activate or deactivate something. I just... Um, if you want to do that, just use a trigger. I think a trigger would be... Much better suited to something like that, if I'm completely honest. Alright, so I need to bring a cube. I need to bring the cube. Which I should have left over here. Also, oh no, we're right. All right, I'm gonna have to do this bit again though. Now that we know to leave the cube over on the other side. All uh, right, so we do this. Do this to here. Let's imagine I didn't just do that. I'm gonna go down here. So then we bring the cube up to the cube over to here.
and then we can fling ourselves up. Not that we need to. Right, cubes on the button. Let's see what's behind this panel down here then, shall we? Okay, let's see turrets for a start. Which is my command. Oh. It's one of those turret dropper things. Hey, is that my optional quest? Sweet, I found the companion cube. Oh, let's go out of here the safe way. Whole button here that I haven't pressed. What does this do? Gives me a way back. So what does the laser do? What's the laser for? That gets us to get rid of the. Is that to get rid of the turret? I guess it is. Oh well. Okay, so that's going to open. Not open the exit, right? But I don't want to go to the exit just yet. So I need to take my companion cube back to the exit, right? So if we're doing that, we need to be doing this instead. And that and uh, that. Hey, come here, companion cube. You can't go before me. Alright, cool stuff. Well, like I said, I think some of those buttons are unnecessary. You could be, you could, get, you could quite easily just use triggers instead. Um, because you don't really need the button to press a player just to open a panel when they enter a room. Just use a trigger, I would personally. Um, if you want things to kind of like happen a bit more automated when you enter a chamber. Um, other than that, pretty simple. So, um, good stuff. You did say it was an easy chamber. Guys, as always, like, comment, subscribe down below. If you've got any match to play, please leave them in the comments or head over to the Discord. A link to that is in the description where you'll find my map suggestions channel. But until next time, I've been Knock. You've been awesome. Happy gaming.